What is going on my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. As all of you know, Season 4 started today. There are some amazing rewards in the Seasonal Reward Track, so today we want to show you one of our favorite ways to level up as fast as possible. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here. And our current one is for a $100 gift card to the Xbox or PlayStation Store. And all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on December 10th, a day after tomorrow, and as I've said in every previous video, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as we start off right away, this method we use has to do with farming territory controls. Now, there are other ways to gain XP, you know, rapidly. However, we have found for people that are beginners and for people that only have a limited of time to play, this really benefits them. Today, I'll be showing you two of my favorite territory controls to hit up. And for me, it's all about time management. I want to make sure I can get to the area quick, reload, and the travel time is minimal. That way, I'm gaining XP like as fast as possible. Now, as I said earlier, there are other ways to gain XP quickly. You can do elite patrols, you can do elite convoys, but from the feedback we've gotten, people enjoy having a stationary location that they can hit up, gain that XP, and then reload the screen and do it again. One thing I'd like to mention as we move on is keep in mind, right now it is double XP. So the numbers you're seeing on the screen are doubled. However, you only get the double XP for the first 15 shade levels you gain. And then after that, it automatically turns off. Now I'll get into some of the mathematics in a little bit, but right now we're going to show you those spots. The first one is in downtown east at the top of the map. You see the location where it's territory control. All you do is fast travel to that classified location and you go from there. Now I'll be showing you this a few different ways. The first run I'm going to do on challenging, then I'll switch over to heroic. We'll have three, I think, directives going. But again, play to your game style. You can do all directives, you can do none. It's really up to you. As far as the build I'm using, I'm just running a Hunter's Fury Memento Backpack build. Any Hunter's Fury build will do. Any SMG build will do. I mean, the thing should be really built up for a run and gun. You can see here, I arrive at the classified location. I turn around and I am immediately where I need to be. Now, one of the reasons these territory controls are so great is there's only one wave of NPCs. So you'll see here, I take these guys out, and I know the pattern of this. Once this guy's taken out, everyone else is going to come out of this room. I stand in front of the door and just light them up. And on that note, if you have a territory control that you're familiar with, just do this method there, meaning this is just about time management. So you can see here, I pick up the key, I open up the chest, and then in under, what, like 40 seconds, I wind up getting about 400,000 XP. Now, two things, again, I want to point out is that right now it's double XP. So typically, if you have three directives going on challenging, you're going to get about 194,000 XP. The three directives I chose were Ammo Hoarders, Fog of War, and Hard to Earn because in, when you're doing these, you're only there for like less than a minute. You're barely using ammo. You're not going to need an armor kit. And once you learn the pattern where the NPCs are, you'll already know. So now going back to the footage, once that thing was cleared, all I did is I reset the control points. But as you can see on the map, the location of the territory control isn't there. So all I will do is reset the control points again, and hopefully it should pop up. And the reason I say hopefully is sometimes it will on the first attempt, sometimes it won't. So after I show you this one, I'll also show you another location that seems to be a little bit more consistent. And we hit that one up as well, pretty much on a daily basis. However, you can see here the location did show up the second time we reset the control points. And the reason this is my favorite spot by far is because where you fast travel to, it puts you right in front of the territory control. And even when you take away the double XP right now, so for just doing this on a regular territory control, you're getting about 194,000 you know, XP per attempt when you're running challenging with three directives. You can see by the footage, this thing takes less than a minute to clear. Then all you do is reset your control points, fast travel back here. So in about four minutes, you're gaining about 400,000 XP. 
And this helps out so many players who have a small amount of time to play that really want to gain that seasonal reward track. You know, I mean, for me, I'm shooting for level 55 of the season because I want the Scorpio shotgun. Like, I've been talking about that nonstop. I want to get that as fast as possible. This gives me a way to do that without being stuck in missions or anything like that. Once again, my friends, all I do is reset the control points. I'm going to run this one on heroic difficulty just to show you that, you know, you do obviously gain more XP when you're doing that. I do have a shield equipped just in case things get sideways. But again, when you learn the patterns, you rip right through these things. Now, you'll see in a second, I cleared over 500,000 XP from just taking down this territory control. Again, it is double XP right now. So when you do this on Heroic, three directives, you're getting about 260,000 XP each attempt. And as we start to wrap this video up, again, I know with Elite Patrols, you can get more or Elite Convoys. However, what's great about doing this method, it's stationary. You're going to one location and there's only one wave of NPCs. So you can reload this over and over again and really maximize that gameplay. However, this method can be used any way you want. So if you want to do this with Elite Patrols, you can do that. Or the Elite Convoys, that's fine as well. However, those do sometimes load in different areas of the map. And with these, you know where it is each time you go there. And you know how the NPCs are going to spawn. As we start to wrap this thing up, my friends, I want to show you one more territory control that we use this method on. This one is located in the southwest. Now, the travel time to get there is a little bit longer. However, it is one of the most consistent ones we found in the game so far. And like I said at the beginning of this thing, this for me is just about farming XP. I'm not worried about getting gear. I'm not worried about getting certain items. I just want to level up as fast as possible so I can get to good, you know, to the good stuff and the seasonal reward. Having said all of that, my friends, I think we're going to start to wrap this video up. I want to once again thank you all for the continued support. You guys have been amazing. And the way the Division 2 has welcomed us into this community has just been, you guys are just, you, you're awesome. You're just awesome. Now, really quick, you'll see on the footage here, I just go to the location. I know the patterns of the NPC. That is one of the most important factors of using this method is to make sure when you go there, you know where they're going to be, you know how they're going to spawn, and you know where that first wave comes in. At this point, my friends, I'm just going to let the rest of the footage play out. As I said earlier, if you happen to be new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. But most importantly, take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.